Hey guys, it's Lam here again, your tech guide. So it looks like I found a new replacement for my smartphone gimbal. This is the Hoham iSteady X 3-axis palm gimbal for your smartphone. And wow, I am super impressed with this gimbal, guys. The size, how compact it is, and the price is just amazing. You can't, you can't go wrong with this gimbal whatsoever. So this is what the box looks like um, on the back. You do have a little bit of a quick description on what it comes with and also the features it's got to offer. And as you can see, they do uh, really elaborate how light it is. It is around 249 grams. It is a foldable design, three axis uh, stabilization and you do have the auto face tracking 3.0. And of course, it's got all the info of what it comes inside the box. So let's open it up and see what we do get inside the box and uh, we'll go from there. So here we go. So as you can see, it comes with a mini tripod, which is always nice to have, especially when you're um, um, balancing your smartphone device. It comes with a strap, a nylon strap your type c cable a pouch and an instruction manual and of course the gimbal itself so as you can see it is super lightweight and compact it is completely made of plastic that is the reason why it is lightweight and it just fits perfectly well in my palm that's how small it is so if we put the mini tripod on it this is what it would look like all right and then if you want to unfold this portion here it becomes to that so this gimbal has the ability to shoot in ultra wide angle um, especially those brand new smartphone devices from Samsung or Apple. Now it is able to shoot in ultra wide angle without hindering the view. Uh, most of other gimbals out there, um, the arms always get in the way. Therefore that you need to hold the gimbal in a flashlight mode like this to eliminate the blockage of the viewing angle in shooting in ultra wide angle whereas this one you don't need to hold it in a flashlight mode you could just hold it in an upright position and you are good to go so i'm just going to do a weight measurement just to see how light it is usually the description of, of the box is kind of off and not accurate so we'll just measure it right here on the spot and see how light it is so it is 286 grams so it's very light if we remove the mini tripod off from the gimbal it is 256 grams so now we'll just do a quick um, comparison with my other smartphone gimbals that i'm currently using right now i do have a lot of gimbals um, i did store them away um, but these are the main three gimbals i'm currently using right now and we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison and show you guys the size difference. As you can see, this is the DJI Osmo Mobile 2 and the size difference is quite dramatic. This one doesn't have the tripod yet, but as you can see, this is how it would look like if you compare it. Okay, and this is my daily driver uh, gimbal here. This is uh, from Free Vision. Uh, the footage you get from this is amazing guys super smooth if you haven't seen the video go check it out it should be in my playlist so as you can see it is quite big that's the problem with it so i don't use my any uh, smartphone gimbals as of right now because of the size it is just quite annoying to um carry around with you because of um how big it is and uh I'm currently just using the Sony, um, what is that called? The 
the 3000 because it has a stabilization and it's compact and uh, you don't need no um, gimbal so now since I have a small compact gimbal now I could get back in shooting with my smartphone device this is the Xeon M2 crane right here you can see the size difference it is still very small compared to the Xeon and when it comes to weight we could even measure them up so with the Xeon crane this thing is 554 grams when you compare it to the Hoham it's pretty much roughly around half the weight of it okay and we measured the DJI Osmo Mobile 2 okay so it's still heavy and the free vision which is the heaviest one okay so now you know why I don't use these gimbals because they're big and they're a little bit on the heavy side so let's go through the feature of this uh, gimbal so as you can see you do have your standard joystick over there left and right up and down you have this button over here which will control the shutter for picture and video and also it will if you double tap it it will um, switch the mode to front and back camera and on the right you do have the reset button so if you notice that the gimbal is offset you just press it once or twice i can't remember anymore it will uh, recenter your smartphone device and if you do press it twice or double tap it will um, change your mode from landscape to portrait and um, it's perfect if you are doing TikTok and so forth you can just click on that um, also on the side here you do have your port your type C to charge your gimbal and other than that this is completely made of plastic solid plastic so it could probably handle some few drops on the top you do have your cradle so I am using the note 9 this fits perfectly well and for the payload the maximum payload I'm not too sure how much it is because this device hasn't been released in the market yet so not much of info has been given but as you can see my note 9 is roughly around 215 grams and this thing can handle it quite easy when it comes to the cradle size we could do a quick measurement here I'll do an exp I'll expand this so that you guys have an idea how far it could expand so it could expand roughly around let's say 85 centimeter close to 90 centimeter and um, so if you do have a bigger or wider phone than that it's so it's it's not really ideal for it when it comes to the note 9 here this is the size measurement it can handle this quite easily and uh, what else is there that I forgot to mention so the price on this is uh, quite decent guys um, at the time of making this video it is roughly around 75 USD um, it hasn't been released on Amazon yet so and the only negative thing I have with this gimbal is that this thing right now is only compatible with your iOS it's not compatible with your Android yet so if you use this you need to register or activate um, the app because if you don't you will hear this constant beeping noise which is quite annoying I don't know why they even implemented that it's just um, kind of silly um, whereas those other gimbals you put on your smartphone Apple or Android it will just work automatically it will not beep but for some reason this one beeps which is kind of weird but anyways once you have that activated everything is all good so we're gonna go outside I'm gonna show you guys some few clips what this gimbal can actually do 
and for the price and for the performance you cannot go wrong with this gimbal guys that is the reason why this gimbal has become my daily driver gimbal when i shoot on my note 9 and um yeah so let's go outside check it out and you guys make the decision or judge for yourself if it's worth the purchase or not all right guys so here we go i am using the note 9 on the hoham i steady x we're gonna do a test on this and see how it performs so i just pretty much flipped the phone backward and uh, i am walking here as normal as i can so just focus on how steady it can uh, get okay i'm gonna flip it backward so this is the place that we are looking at that we might consider moving in this is in surrey bc canada it's a townhouse and um, we are trying to make an offer here and uh, hopefully the salesperson will uh, take the bait and we could um, move in here as soon as possible but this is the place so as you can see this is phase one and then we got phase two down there all right so the note 9 does not have the super ultra wide angle so i cannot really test it out with this gimbal but again like i said it is compatible with the ultra wide ang uh, angle camera and also forgot to mention on the handle of the gimbal it does have a zoom in and zoom out once you have it uh, activated with the app you have that capability of doing that so i'm gonna just pick up the pace here we're gonna really check out the stabilization and see how it performs i'm gonna flip it backward so it's aiming at us if you are doing a vlogging style i'm gonna run and this is the place over here the front of the townhouse So it's uh, approximately 50% that's been sold already. So hopefully we could uh, get a place here. So now let's check out the zoom and see how the zooming is like. So my Note 9, actually the zooming feature of this camera is actually not working so let's just go back we're gonna do a little quick jog and this is the place guys all right so that's pretty much it guys if you are interested in this gimbal i'll put a link in the description below where you can get one and i think right now from the time i'm making this video it's not probably out on amazon yet but uh give it some time maybe a month from now it will be there so i'll keep you guys posted so once again guys thank you for watching my video until then i'll see you guys on the next one peace